Cold brew in the garage, packing up some deliveries. What's up, Mr. Cohn? David Cohn in the house. Oh, man, you're packing stuff up. You're still selling stuff. eBay's still selling. All right, cool. All right, we are uh, officially live here on Facebook, YouTube, and uh, Periscope. If anybody is out there on Periscope still, we still are broadcasting there. Dave is uh, having the cold brew. I'm having the, the warm brew. And the lighting here is really weird today because uh, it's sunny and then it's not sunny. So, um, all right, cool. So uh, hopefully everyone had an amazing uh, weekend, uh, was able to get outside if the weather was good um, and just enjoy some of that, some of that sun. Uh, you know, we're still, uh, we're still in, the, in the heart of it in a sense of this COVID-19 thing. Um, so hopefully you guys are staying safe uh, staying positive and all of that. Uh, we had a pretty good day yesterday. Uh, I, I, uh, you know, obviously we celebrated Easter here. Um, we had some sun in and out, but then it rained, uh, actually through the line in the pond, uh, for about 15 minutes and, uh, caught nothing, but, uh, it's okay. It was fun. Uh, so, okay. So today what we're going to be talking about that I want to talk about, and hopefully you guys, um, I actually had a question come in yesterday, or not yesterday, uh, Saturday, and it was, hey, hey, Salma, what's up? Um, so I had a question that came in, uh, it was kind of like, how do I get more done? How do I be more productive? Um, what does your day look like? Uh, how do you, because to be honest with you, I think a lot of people right now are starting to experience what it would be like to work from home because they have to work from home, Right. And so this is a good test for you that if you do have a job, um, how would that look like? How would you be disciplining your day? Uh, how would you get stuff done? Because it's very easy to go, you know, I'm just going to go out outside and throw the fishing line in the pond all day, right? Like it's easy to do that. Um, so we can't do that. We got to get stuff done. So how do you get stuff done, right? And that's a, that's a big question uh, that a lot, of, a lot of people want to know. So what I want to cover here in um, in this little coffee talk, and I want to get your guys' thoughts on this, um, and really I titled this this coffee talk today is The Successful Week. How do we have a successful week? How do we create a plan and uh, and really be productive in a week? Because a lot of people, like I said, they're, they're kind of just like, oh, I, I should do this. Oh, I should do this. Uh, oh, I got to do that. And oh, we got to do this. And it's like you, you just have a lot of different things that you want to do or a lot of things that you should do or a lot of things you can do, all of that stuff. So what I want to do is I want to talk about how I actually do it, um, also how we recommend that people do it. And I say we, myself, and Chris Schaefer, we have inside of our academy, um, we do this every Monday. And actually, I'm going to be doing that pretty much as soon as I get off with you guys. I do a check-in on Mondays. So I think Regardless of what you do, if you are working from home all the time, or even if you're not, you need to you need to take inventory on what your week will look like. And, and a lot of people don't do this. They don't they don't actually sit down and look and see what their week looks like. They don't take inventory of like what is everything that I that I want to do, everything that I have to do, and and then start putting it down on a list. Now I'm not saying you should have a gigantic list because that can be also bad because then you'll see, oh my gosh, look at all this stuff I got to do. I better not do any of it because it's work. Um, and there's also different things that you break down that are project-based, right? So there's things that are going to be like a one-off project. So if you're working on building your website, that's going to be up and running after you finish that project. And then there's going to be another project, right? That fills in that space. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of share with you this is what I use, guys. This is it, okay? It's literally a uh, five-star uh, notebook, right? Look at it. Like, nothing fancy, nothing fancy. I think it cost me a dollar, maybe maybe less. I think I might have got a five-pack or something. Um, so this is what I use. Um, and so this allows me to put things down on paper. And a lot of people, and I'll show you inside here in a minute. But um, when you have something that you can have on paper, it, it offloads it onto your brain, number one. So um, in order to, like I said, take inventory, you're not, you don't just want to sit down and go, okay, I got to do this, I got to do that, I got to do this, I got to do that. You got to actually put it down and then see what that looks like. 
And then you got to start organizing that down. And then once you organize it, then you got to say, okay, Monday, what happens on Monday, Tuesday, what happens on Tuesday? I'm talking like you need to sit down and, and really look and see every single thing that you have going. So this way here, let's say, for example, you have an hour, uh, hour a day to work on your business or work on something that you're trying to achieve. And you know what? Let me throw that out there. I'll throw it out here on uh, Instagram. I'll throw it out here on Facebook and YouTube. Um, do you currently, do you currently dedicate time every single day to work on your business? And like, almost like you had a job to where it was like, okay, nothing gets in the way of that. So I'm just curious. Do you do that right now? Do you currently dedicate time to work on your business only? So just drop that in the comments. I'm sure you guys will be able to. <laughs> Mark says, hey, Scott, thanks for the kick in the butt. Hey, no problem, man. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. What's up, Karen? Good morning. Good morning, Karen. So if you guys can just drop that in the comments over here as well, um, that would be good. Um, and guys, if you're just joining us right now, we're talking about really uh, how to um, how to create a successful week, how to create it, how to plan it, and really be productive. And um, I'm going to share with you uh, what that looks like. All right. Okay. Um, okay, Karen says, uh, yes, I work six hours a day. Now, let me ask you, is that six hours uh, like in a block or is that like scattered? Just curious on that. That says reconnecting. Uh, yeah, Justin says, yeah, that, it's a great point. Yes, but most of the time I get distracted. So Justin, I'm curious, what are you getting distracted with? Is it is it being on Facebook? Is it being on YouTube? Is it um, looking uh, at email? What is it that's distracting you? Uh, and Tim says, yes, 30 minutes a day. Okay, cool. Tim, when is that 30 minutes? Is it the same time every single day? Just curious on that. Yeah, I'm still just looking, guys. Uh, yeah, Chris says, yes, because my business is my full-time job. Okay. So how I, – I get it. My business is my full-time job too, Chris. So let me ask you, though, um, when you uh, – I'm just disconnecting over here because Instagram is uh, – Let's go back here one second, guys. I'm just going to get these guys back up and running. Uh, let's see. All right, we're going to get those guys back. Sorry. All right, guys. Sorry. You guys must have got dropped off. Poor connection. All right. Um. So, okay. So, let me see what we're getting in here. Uh, let's see. Karen says, six hours in a block with 10-minute break every hour to get up and move and get chores done. Okay. I like that. Uh, let's see, Justin, distracted with emails, YouTube videos, et cetera, all related to my business, okay? Got We got to set boundaries. Uh, and Tim says, same time every day during coffee with Scott. Nice. Okay. I like that. I think you said that last time that you uh, part of you getting on at 10 o'clock is for you to also check in and kind of do your stuff. Um, Hi, uh, just uh, wants to know what my Instagram is. It's uh, just Scott Volker. At Scott Volker um, is where you can get me. But to be honest with you, when I'm showing up on YouTube and Facebook, that's where I get, you know, more of us are hanging out. Instagram isn't as much. I don't spend a lot of time on Instagram, to be quite honest with you. Although I am connecting with you guys because, hey, everyone that, that does, you know, see this or whatever, I'm grateful for. Um, but um, when I do screen sharing and stuff, it'll be through Facebook and YouTube. Um so Mark says, finding it hard to stay motivated, but at least two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon. Yeah, I would suggest anyone, if they can, is get locked in in the morning, like if you can. It's going to make it so much easier for you to be able to do that. Um, so let me kind of let me give you guys what I give inside of, of the academy of what I do. Okay, this is kind of what I'm going to be doing, so I'll kind of I'll do it again. All right. So first and foremost is one of my one of my hour blocks. Um, is basically sitting down and doing this, right? That's one of my hour blocks. I'm basically sitting down 
and I'm dumping everything down on this pad of paper. All right. So I'm going to kind of walk through it. So if you guys can see it, you guys can see it, right? So basically, first thing I do, trying to get adjusted here. First thing I do up here is I write three things that I want to be reminded of. So the first one on top is be grateful. So I'm just reminding myself to be grateful, be intentional, and be giving, give, right? So that, that's just reminders. So when I pull, when I open this book up every single day, those are just little, little triggers for me to look at. Not that I'm not going to be grateful, not that I'm not going to be intentional, not that I'm, I'm not going to be giving. I want to be reminded of that. So this here, remember, something that you look at every day is powerful. It's also part of the routine. So like when I sit down, got my coffee, I'm ready to do my first hour of work. I open this up and I look at it and I see what am I supposed to be working on right now? Now, here's the other thing. Right now, I don't check email until later in the day, right? So if someone sends me an email, I do not open my email until after two o'clock. And that's by design. Because when I open my email, guess what happens? Scott starts answering people and starts replying to people. And it's usually, not always, but it's, it's usually someone needs something, right? So when I'm, when I'm first sitting down and getting into my work, I don't want to be answering other people's issues or problems or giving them what they need. I want to work on what I need to get done. Now, what I'm working on to get done just happens to help other people a lot of times, or it's building a component of a, of a business element that will help someone, right? But I can't get distracted because if I have that block, I'm going to get a lot more done. So it's about being disciplined. So one thing that I would say, if you are checking your email first thing in the morning, stop doing that. Like I would stop doing that. Now, if you have a job that people have to get in touch with you and that's your job, that's fine. But for your business, for your thing, do not check email until after you've done your tasks that you want to get done. Like that's so important. Uh, it's funny. I had even my daughter the other day, she had sent me something and she goes, Hey, I sent you an email. Did you see it? I go, I don't check my email until two o'clock. If you need me, get me over here. Right now. My daughter's a little different, right? I'm going to look at her, uh, not an email, but a text that I'll, cause I only certain people have my text, right? I have my number. Those people. Yes, I will. Obviously I'm going to respond to, but I'm limiting the amount of distractions I'm getting, right? So, um, so then basically what I do, I'm going to kind of hold this over and I'll show you this after, right? So basically if I'm showing you that there, those are my to do's, right? So these are my to do's that I, that I want to get done right for the week. Those are for the week. Okay. And you guys can't really see it over there here, right? So basically what I'm doing is I am, I'm listing right here on this side. This is, this happens first. So this happens first. So it's my to-dos, right? And the to-dos could be projects. It could be something I have to do every week. Like I have to record three podcast episodes every week for the following week. So that has to get done. So it's either either it's interviews, either it's me doing solo shows, or it's me doing, uh, you know, maybe planning on the episodes. Like all that has to get done, has to get done. There's there's no like ifs, ands, or buts. Scott has to get that done, right? Um, and I've been doing that for five years now which just is crazy that I'm even saying that, right? So you got to write down, what are the to-dos? What's cycling in your head? What's happening when you wake up in the middle of the night? You're like, oh, I don't want to forget that. I got to get that done. And it could be, you know, it, it could be something as simple as like, you got to call the cable company, write it down, right? Because everything that keeps circulating up here, it's distracting you or confusing you or getting you overwhelmed. Dump it down here, okay? Then what we can do, the second part of this, so first part is like, Listing all of your projects, all of the things that you want to get done, right? Now, again, let me bring you back. What we're doing here, though, we're dedicating one of our hour blocks for the week to plan our week, right? We're planning our week. That is critical, okay? It's also refreshing to go, oh, okay, there it all is. I don't have to keep thinking about it. It's all right here. I just wrote it all down, right? It's all there, right? And I'm not going to forget it, right? So you dump that on paper and you use a pen, a pen, okay? So we do that. Now, I, I always like to focus on what are the big three for the week? What are my big three things that I am going to get done 
regardless. They have to get done. I'm going to get them done. Nothing is going to get in its way, right? So I write those three down, right? Those are top priorities, okay? Now, after I get th those done, I can list all the other things underneath those three that once I get those three done, I'm free to work on those other things. But that's bonus. It's kind of like extra credit, right? I got to be able to get those three, um, those big three. I call them the big three, okay? So when you list your big three, those take priority. And they can be a project. It could be something you have to do just because it has to get done weekly. So it's project or it's routine. It doesn't matter, okay? But those are the big three. Usually my big three are, are usually uh, based around business, okay? The other stuff that I put that I put into my day could be working out, right? It could be walking, right? So that's part of it. Uh, and guys, if you have any questions on this, drop them in. I see there's some questions coming in. And people are also just uh, putting in comments. Oh, and the other thing is, guys, um, you know, we're, we're growing a little bit here. We're getting more people on now on Facebook and YouTube. So if you guys would do me a favor, if you feel that um, people would benefit from this, uh, from having coffee together in the morning and going over this type of stuff, make sure that you share this with people. Make sure that you invite your friends, your family, whoever you think that would benefit from this. I would appreciate that. Okay. Only cool people though, by the way, like only people like us. All right. Uh, which I'm sure if you're going to invite them, they would be. All right. All right. So let's move on. So let's kind of recap a little bit. I'm writing reminders for me up top, right? Be grateful, be intentional, be giving. Okay. Those are mine. Doesn't that mean it's got to be yours? Because when I'm thinking about being grateful, I'm grateful right now that I have this internet connection that I get to connect with you. That's being grateful. It's small, but it's big, right? I'm grateful that I have a house right now. And, uh, you know, there's other people in the world that, um, that don't have that luxury, right? So I'm grateful that I'm able to have that. Right. I'm grateful, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm able to go outside and use my legs to walk when some people can't. Right. And so you have to, sometimes it's, it's small. That's not even small, but like small things can be like, I'm so glad that I can go out there right now and, you know, make a cup of coffee, right? Like I, I'm able to do that. So that's being grateful. And sometimes we have to remind ourselves. So that's, that's big for me. Number two is being intentional, being intentional. I'm intentional right now by showing up with you. And I'm with you right now because I want to help you. I want to serve you. I want to connect with you. That's being intentional. If when I get done with you and we're going to, we're going to head over, uh, you know, and I'm going to be over in my brand creators Academy. I'm going to be intentional in there because I'm going to show up and help them right? Or I'm going to sit down and I'm going to record a podcast episode. I'm being intentional with my time. So it's not just scattered. Okay. And then be giving. It's just a reminder again, like, let me show up to you with nothing. I have no expectations for, for you guys, as far as like giving me anything zero, like right now you can't even buy anything really from me. Right? Like, so it's like, there's no, there's only a give. I'm only giving right now. I'm not asking. Um, so that's it. And that's a reminder. Then I do a little, a little, uh, date, April 13th through the 20th, I draw a little bubble around it because I like to draw bubbles. Uh, <laughs> and then and then I start mapping out the week, right? So I got Monday, I got Monday up here, I got Tuesday here, Wednesday here, Thursday here, Friday here. And I leave the weekend open. If there's something I want to do, I can throw it in there. If there's not, I don't have to. Monday through Friday, this is it, okay? And uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll read through, um, I'll read through my, my Monday, okay? On what this looks like. So the very first thing, and this is, okay, let me time out. This is also after I've already done my morning routine. So I don't write my morning routine. This is like starting at like eight o'clock, right? Before that, I'm still getting up, taking my walk, doing a little bit of reading, uh, you know, doing my 50 push-ups uh, after I get out of the shower. Um, you know, that, that's all done, right? So this, that's, that's all part of the daily routine. This here is like once we get rocking and rolling. Um, so Monday, today, is um, Brand Creators Academy check-in. So I have to check in, okay? And I'm scheduling that. That's the first thing that I do. I'm gonna jump in there and I'm going to respond. I'm going to reply. I'm gonna see it, what's going on, what people are, are doing, what people are having questions with, all of that stuff. And I usually do that for about a half hour, sometimes an hour, okay? So, but that, that's today. I'm gonna, I already did that. And I, actually, I've got a video that I'm uploading in there as we speak, so that will be there. So that's already happening. Number two, I need to outline my podcasts that are coming up for next week. So I'm going to sit down today with an hour's worth of my time, and I'm going to outline my podcast episodes, okay? 
Number three that's going to happen today is I have some interviews that are going to go up on YouTube that I did probably around three, four months ago. They were they were on the podcast, but they weren't on, um, they didn't go on YouTube yet. So um, they're already done and edited. So now I just have to come up with my, uh, my titles for those videos. I got to sit down half hour and do that. Um, there's uh, number four, my audio play, or the audio version of the playbook. I'm going to be uploading into Brand Creators Academy. That's a task I have to do. Okay. Um, and then let's see here. Uh, and then number five is I'm going to record an episode in an Ask Scott session that has to go up this Friday. Um, and then number six <clears throat> is workout. So I'm going to work out once that's all done. And then guess what number seven is? Emails. Reply to emails. And that's it. That's all I have. I, I say all. That's quite a bit. But it's all. I'll get all that done today. And once I do, it's like, good. I got it all done. Right? That's awesome. I got stuff prepared for tomorrow because now I'm going to record podcast episodes tomorrow. Um, I cleaned up uh, those interviews. I got the titles done. So they're going to go up on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to record an episode for this Friday for the Ask That session, upload uh, the audio book, which won't take long, but it's there. I, it's something I had to do. And I'm going to reply to emails. So all of that stuff got done. I might spend on all of that four, maybe five hours. Okay. But I can be done with this by probably around three o'clock. Right. And again, that's not in one stretch. I'm going to work for an hour, take a 10, 15 minute break, work for an hour, 10, 15 minute break. And kind of go there. And I didn't even throw in here on Monday that I'm here showing up with you guys for 20, 30 minutes, right? So that's just, I kind of, I kind of slid that. It's kind of like my break period, I guess you would call it my coffee and break time. Um, so that's Monday. And then I would go on to Tuesday, right? And there's every single day I have my first thing that I do is I check in with my brand creators Academy. That, like that's, that's scheduled. Um, and then I start filling in the other stuff. Um, so anyway, hopefully that was helpful. So basically again, this is my really fancy uh, sheet here, right? Real fancy. I just break it down. But you know what? I don't have to think about it now. I put this thing away. It's over here. I show up. I have my coffee. I open it up. And I go, oh, Monday. Check in. I go check in. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Oh, podcast outline. All right. I got to go ahead and get my text uh, doc up. I'm going to go ahead and start editing. Or I'm going to start outlining my podcast episodes that are coming up for the following week. I sit down, I do that. I don't think about anything else. So you see how I can get a lot done because I'm not distracted. That's a big one. And I have a plan. I'm sitting down and I'm planning every single thing that I'm doing. So there's no guesswork. There's no wondering. This is what I'm doing, right? And I would recommend you guys do something similar. It'll help and you will get so much done. And guess what? When you get a lot done, it feels good. And guess what happens when something feels good? You want to do it again, right? And you want to do more of it. Um, so it might take a little getting used to, but I would definitely recommend sitting down and planning out all of your tasks and your projects for the week. Create that list of everything that's circulating, circulating up here, put it down on paper, organize, and then put it into daily uh, you know, daily things and then break it down. If you only have an hour a day, then you have to take that hour and say, what am I going to focus on this, you know, this day in this hour, right? Or maybe it's an hour in the morning and an hour at night. Hour one is this, hour two is this. And by the way, if you have an hour in the morning and an hour at night, because let's say you want to do it before the kids get up and then you want to do it when the kids are to bed. So you're not disrupting the family time, which I get. Um, you might want to do more of the creative stuff in the morning and then more of the answer emails and stuff in the afternoon, right? Because when you're answering emails or you're, you're replying or doing any of that stuff, or maybe you're talking to a sourcing agent, whatever, you don't have to really put a lot of thought into a creative thought that is in the morning. If you're creating a blog post, if you're creating a video, if you're outlining for a video and being creative and anything like that, you, you, you usually want to get that done in the morning. At least that works best for me. You just feel just more creative. After 12 o'clock, I'm not feeling as though I want to jump on camera and maybe do a video or a podcast because I have more energy in the morning maybe. Um, so hopefully that helped you. Let me go through and see what you guys got for any questions or any of that stuff. You guys as well, if you have any questions, let me know. The lighting in here is terrible on Instagram. I don't know why. Uh, okay, let's see. 
All right. Chris says, I run more than one type of business, uh, RA, which is retail arbitrage, and another business I run with partners. Also was doing print on demand and wanting to build a brand around with it is one reason I joined BCA last week. Okay, cool. Yeah, and and Chris, we'll definitely be able to, to dig into that. And if you want to give us more details inside of the academy, we can definitely dig into that uh, and help you with that for sure. Uh, it sounds like you got a lot of stuff going on, so we got to manage that, though. we got to manage what you're doing and what you're working on so you don't feel like uh, you're going crazy because uh, I, I know that feeling. It's not a good feeling. Um, Heidi, um, I'm an essential worker for the government, so I don't have very much time, but I try to lock in some time in the evening, usually about an hour. Cool. Um, yeah, and again, like we give our time to our job, right? Why can't we give our time to ourselves? Like, don't we owe it to ourselves? I think we do. I think you do. Uh, Marius, uh, six hours when I'm at the office, none when in, when home with the kids. Yeah, and again, if that if that works for you, that's fine. Uh, again, if you have kids, the way that I've always done that is I do it either when they're in, um, especially when they're young, either in the morning before they get up or when they go to bed. And I've pulled a lot of uh, nights where I stayed up very late. Um, because I wanted to work on a certain part of the business or build something out, whatever. Um, and I might have been tired the next day, but I, I'm sacrificing that for the build. Um, and that's what I've, I've done that quite a bit. Hey, Wen, what's up? Hello to you as well. Uh, Salama, do you record all three podcasts on one day? Do you have themes for the day or always the same routine? Yeah, that's a great question. I love that. Um, okay, so what I'm, what I'm trying to do now, and I've played around with different ways, is uh, I outline in one day uh, or in one hour, really, usually. And then I'll try, not always, but I try to knock out recording in one day. Um, so to answer your question, yes, I theme it. So uh, the theme of Monday is really about planning, preparation. And then Tuesday and sometimes Wednesday is recording. Um, so yes, I do try to theme that because I feel... If I shoot three videos in one day and three podcasts in one day, and really it's the same, um, sometimes what happens, my voice gets a little bit hoarse or um, I just lose a little bit of energy on that third one. So sometimes I'll carry it over to Wednesday. Um, so yes, I do. Uh, Pedro, what's up? Uh, morning, Scott. Always wondering how you prep your bulletproof coffee. I've been trying to make my own for past few days or every day tweaking the recipe. I don't use uh, bulletproof products. Okay, you don't have to, but you will notice a different on the coffee. Um, but what I do, mine's very simple. I have two different ways that I do it. Um, okay, so the first way I do it is I do use bulletproof, but I use the K-cups. And some people said I'm cheating because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not using the French press and all that, but I don't care. Um, I just don't want mold in my coffee. And if you buy any other type of coffee, generally you'll you'll... If you did a test or whatever on it, it could have mold on it. So I use, um, so I kind of, I don't go hardcore on that it has to be, but I like it to be. So I'll use one K cup with, um, with it, that's on, on a, a large cup, which typically brings me to about here. And then I use another one, which is Newman's Organic Coffee. Um, and then I'll take the other one, I'll do a shorter cup, and then that'll bring me up to here. And then I dump it into my Vitamix. I put about... I would say a tablespoon and a half, uh, maybe even, I'd go heavy um, uh, with uh, some organic butter, um, which is the, uh, oh gosh, it's the Irish butter. Um, I'm forgetting the name of it. Um, oh gosh, I forgot the name of it. If someone knows the name of it, it starts with a K. Oh, Kerrygold, Kerrygold. Um, and it's an Irish type, uh, butter. So I put that in it. And then the only thing I do different between that one and my second cup is that one there. I put some MCT oil, which is basically just coconut oil. Um, but it's just a little bit more pure. Um, and I just put like maybe a teaspoon of that in it and the, and I don't taste the difference, but it gives you a little bit more mental clarity. Um, so that's it. And the second cup is just everything I just said without the MCT. Um, and that's it. The key is, is to blend it and whip it. Like I get that thing cranking and it's just like, and it just, you get the froth and then I pour it and you get a nice froth in it. It's delicious. Um, I haven't went, I haven't had cream in my coffee in months. Um, and it's just awesome. So anyway, there you go, Pedro. Uh, Salama, do you only list business tasks or personal too? Uh, generally it's business 
Um, personal would be woven into my days. So you can see in there, a workout isn't technically my, my business, um, but it's worked in there. So it has to get done. I want something in there that has to do with working out. Now it doesn't have to be a full out workout. It just means that I have to get some type of workout in. Uh, it could be a 10 minute workout, or it could be doing planks while I'm letting my coffee brew, which I did this morning. Um, all right. Uh, morning routine. Uh, I think I said this before, but I'll say it again really quickly. Uh, basically, I get up around 5.45, 5.30, 30 minute walk. Um, and then from there, come back here, sit right here, read a little bit for 10 minutes, do a little bit of stretching after that, go take a shower, um, all that stuff. Then I do 50 push ups against the counter. Um, and then, um, from there, come out, uh, get my dogs out, let them go to the bathroom. And then I brew my coffee. Like that's like standard, like that doesn't change. Um, and then I sit down and I, I start working. Um, okay, Justin, when building a brand website, if we don't want to write posts under our real name, what are our options? Can we use pen names or ask for our freelance writers to publish as contributors? Absolutely. All of the above. Um, yeah, you can do either. Um, you can totally do it. We're doing it right now on two different brands. So it's not us. Um, we're not writing it as us um, right now. Um, Chris, yes, the call and, um, yes, this call and in BCA, I hope you can teach me, manage my time better. My wife gets on me about being too scattered example. I am finishing up my taxes this week, which are not done. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, biggest thing for you, man, is really is, is getting down, dumping it down, dump every, I would take an hour and do that, man. I'm telling you, it is going to help you so, so much. Um, it's going to feel good. And you're going to be able to map stuff out and see like, okay, what takes priority? Those taxes, they need to get done, right? So they're going to take priority. You got to get them things done, right? So just everything else stays aside. I, I would not answer emails until later in the day if you can help it, okay? Um, but yeah, and, and, and the other thing is, is like, okay, so something like um, this, this is your coffee talk. Maybe this is your time that you can actually have a little bit of a break or a little bit of that time that you're going to be like, okay, cool. I, I got it. Right. And then I would probably just make sure that you allocate the time to be on our live calls in the Academy, which are every other week. And then when you need something, you jump in there and you kind of work um, you know, you work that into your schedule, but you got to block that stuff out. It's with anything you have to, um, Jim, Jim is 17. You like coffee or tea, sir? I like coffee. Uh, <laughs> all right. I think that is it. That's going to wrap this up. We went, we went a little over the half hour. I want to try to keep these to 20 or 30 minutes moving forward. Um, so anyway, I wanted to say thank you guys. A lot more people came on today, so I appreciate you guys. And just keep coming back. This will be our coffee time in the morning, 10 a.m. Eastern time. If you guys have any topics you want me to drill into, to talk about, drop them in the comments, let me know. And also, share this with someone that you think would get value, you know, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's on Instagram, doesn't matter. Um, but uh, I just, I want to I want to be able to hang out with people in the morning that uh, are really trying to better their lives, but then also are trying to build, um, you know, their lifestyle business. And I want to be here to help them. All right. So uh, yeah, if you guys are, uh, if you guys uh, have any, anyone that you think that would, uh, you know, enjoy some coffee in the morning with us, invite them over. We'd love to have them. All right, guys, that's it. It's going to wrap it up as always. Take care, take action, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.